bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, thank you for joining us. I don't know if there's anybody that I know or in the studio or anywhere around who enjoys going to the dentist, but that world of dentistry is getting better. I think people are going there more, and there's better services available. Uh, right now, we have Dr. Patrick Farrell, and he is the dean of University of Pacific, and that's the Arthur Dugoni School of Dentistry. And it's sort of a little-known secret that you guys have that school there, right? Uh, I think it's a little bit known secret. I mean, we do treat a lot of patients in the community. We have pro approximately 200,000 patient visits each year. Um, that, that's a lot. It's a lot that's of an amazing amount. Amazing, yeah. you know, amazing amount. It's also that the fact that our students go out into the community and um, uh, do community service and provide a lot of uh, uh, projects and care for the um, for the underserved population. You know, you know what? That's one of the things. I mean, everyone knows you go to a dentist, you're getting better care these days than ever, but the expense. If everything is going up, and that's certainly one of the areas it has too. The fact that they're providing some services that people who otherwise would neglect their teeth and uh, be harmful in their life as they go on is an amazing thing. Well, you know, first of all, for the fee for service patients coming in and paying our fees are around 50% of the usual customers, so that opens up the doors for a lot of people who ha don't have dental insurance nor can afford to, um, to go to the private sector. The second group of population that we really pay a lot of attention to are the patients who are covered under Denical. Um, of course, there's a challenge here in the state of eliminating Denical benefits. Uh, there was an attempt to eliminate it for children. Um, that has been, I think, preserved, at least at this point in time. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, but it looks like for the adults it's going to go away. Yeah. But we also do some pro bono work. Um, we do, um, through the mayor's program, Homeless Connect, uh, we do provide dental care for the homeless. Um, um, uh, as well, and many other groups of people that we work on, we, we provide the care. You, you know, uh, you know more than anybody else uh, that the dental health is so important to your general health, and that's why when I see young children who perhaps don't have the opportunity, particularly don't have the opportunity to get good dental care, it's going to affect their entire life. Well, and I agree exactly with you, Jack. And I think that we, I think there's a greater recognition today of the importance of oral health, and it's just not a purely aesthetics. There are clear scientific linkages that poor oral health can lead to other health conditions. And so you focus on the children, and that's appropriate to be focusing on the children, but you also have to look at the adults. And it's not well known, perhaps, that women of childbearing age, if they have gum disease, periodontal disease, bleeding gums, they run the risk of giving, um, of giving birth to a child prematurely and at a lower birth rate, which you can look at the implications of that yeah. all the way down the road. Um, people with diabetes, heart disease, all can have the conditions made worse by having poor oral health. And I think that is not probably well known as it should be today. Um, but uh, we could provide, um, if we provide good oral health care, we can improve the health of our citizens. And we look at our vision um, at the dental school, at um, Arthur A. Degoni School of Dentistry, is that we're going to lead the improvement of health by advancing oral health. Yeah. And that's why it's so much important in people's lives. Well, one of the things that uh, I've asked you about before, the number of women who are going into dentistry. Uh, at one time, years and years ago, I, I don't think there was hardly any women involved. But now, in fact, my dentist is a woman. And a nice person she is, too. <laughs> and she's pleasant and smiles. And I hope she's a Pacific graduate. <laughs> yeah, she must have been. I don't know. Okay, well, let's remind everybody uh, that, first of all, Dr. Patrick Ferriello is my guest, and he's Dean, University of Pacific, the Arthur Dugoni School of Dentistry. It is doing work for the community, both for low-cost folks and for people who just need help. Nice to have you. Thank you very much for having You're us. You're very welcome. Thank and you. And thank you for watching.